Welcome to another episode of Vurism. Compared to the last episode where we visited an area of the Sahara Desert, this one is equally as hot but much more wet on quite a different side of the planet. We will start zooming in on Vietnam and specifically this coastal area and the, we're looking for the airport of Cat B or Cat B um, starting on runway 07. You can pick, uh, compared to last time, you can pick a fairly small plane because we will be there quite soon. When you drop in, when the game loaded, just accelerate outwards and lift off from the runway. We'll be, we will be there in no time. This airport is located in the city of Hai Pong or Hai Phong. I'm not sure how to pronounce that correctly. It's the largest port city of Vietnam, where basically most of its uh, goods and stuff are exported and imported. Um, because the capital is not right at the coast. So, when we have lift off, uh, depending on your system you might see a little bit of lag here in the area, because Hai Pong is quite a big city with quite a lot of buildings, as you can see when we take a look around. So brace yourself for that or lower the settings. Um, but it will get much more fluent once we're over the water. The direction of flight is quite easy, just continue exactly the direction the runway is facing. You don't have to turn anywhere, just continue out. In a minute we will reach the outer edges of the Pacific Ocean and we will be in our, at our target in no time. I accelerated the next bit again to skip the waiting time. Now here we are. This is the beginning of Ha Long Bay, named after the city of Ha Long, um, which has a staggering amount of islands. What you can see here on the screen is not even close to the full picture. When we get further along, it will unravel the whole uh, extent of this chain of islands. It's an archipelago um, made out of karst rock, I guess it's called that has been degraded by the ocean over a lot of time creating a lot of small islands but at the same time keeping a lot of them quite steep and hilly so they make um, actually quite a nice scenery. Uh, I have to say the game doesn't fully commit it. Let's change the weather here real quick because it was kinda moody so let's change that to more sunshine so the atmosphere comes across nicely um, yeah if you if you look at pictures of Ha Long Bay uh, on the internet you will see that the actual islands look even more stunning in real life than they look right here because um, from what I've found out uh, so far the flight simulator is very good at making things in the right color but not very good at making them in the right shape uh, especially if the high map data is not good or very high resolution photogrammetry cities will look better but uh, s places like this where it's just a bunch of rocks uh, you can see that the height map um, is a bit lacking but now as we get higher you can see how far extended this whole area is it goes on for kilometers um, another thing that uh, kind of strikes me right now is the higher you get in this flight simulator the better things look if you get close to the ground uh, most of the time it starts to show how the data is generated and show low resolution textures wherever it can't uh, figure it all out because it is based on being maps after all so looking at Halong Bay um, it looks quite accurate accurate from far up 
as it would on, on other pictures you find on the internet but the closer you get the less accurate it becomes still though I think it's a very uh, relevant place to visit because it gives you all these little islands to, to fly around to fly low to fly um, around them because they are not just flat like any old Pacific islands uh, out in the open ocean but they actually give you a lot of terrain to work with and then you can climb up and see all those scattered dots around um, I find that quite um, interesting and nice to look at there is another area in uh, Thailand called Phang Na Bay or Phang Na Bay depending on how you pronounce that I don't know which offers the same landscape type but with a little bit less islands for Asian tourists this might not be a surprising place but considering this is in Vietnam uh, it is for at least from my point of view I, I, I live in Europe and from the European perspective Vietnam is not yet such a touristy destination that like all of Europe would flock there so I still count it as an obscure location uh, earning its spot in this series to show off that this kind of landscape exists in the real world on our planet. So, and finally we're going in for some very close flying to these uh, islands in a more dramatic fashion. I really like this small plane with the two engines. It's, it's, I think it's called a Diamond DA-62 or something. I think that's what it's called. Um, I'm not sure about the cockpit because this whole area is quite in the way. But from the outside it looks very nice and it's very easy to fly. So, if you like what you see, go check that place out. I showed you how to find it and I will leave you with the rest of the pictures uncommented. See you all next time when I uh, show you another obscure and beautiful place on this blue marble. Until then, I wish you a beautiful day. I've been Skyrex. Cheers!